Hello y'all, I'm Chef Jeffrey. Back with another edition of a video here of old school cooking here. Uh, a damn with me making something I grew up on. We see it all the time. Mackerels. It's like the old school crab cakes really. Without crab, you use mackerels. You get mackerels in the store over there with the tuna fish and all that in. And I use 15 ounce cans. This recipe is online under the uh, description of my video. So as I'm doing the video, I'm just mostly just dumping things in the bowl. So don't worry, the recipe is it's in the description of the video. Please subscribe, please comment, please give thumbs up to the video. Uh, a lot of people, if you're old school, you've had macros before. If you're not, it's probably look like, oh, what is that? You probably never even noticed this in the store, but I grew up on these things. My mama used to make them with with uh, home uh, french fries and we'd eat them with syrup, bird rabbit syrup and biscuits. That's how we see our macros. But today I'm gonna show you how my mama made them, her recipe. Okay, when the macros come out of the can, it has a lot of liquid in it. Sometimes I save liquid to the side, just in case my mix is too dry. I add a little of the liquid out of the can. Also, the macro, when it come out, they have bones in them sometimes. And you have to pick the bone, like there's a bone right here in the middle. I left some piece of other one I broke up already. You take those bones out of there before you be very careful. I got all these bones here out of it already. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use my hand to break it up, but you can use a fork to kind of break up the uh, the macros up before you add the other ingredients. Really simple to make, really easy to make. No big deal. I break up the macro meat there. Turn this down. I got my blackening, a blackened skillet heating up there. Okay, I'm gonna add a few onions in here. Not many. If you don't like onions, you don't have to add onions. Season with salt and pepper. Add a couple of eggs. Some mayonnaise to this. Like I say, this is my mom's recipe. I've seen different ways online how to do this, but this is how she do it. She don't use breadcrumb, but I use a little breadcrumb in mine. That's something I kind of started. I got a little flour she puts in her. And she used cornmeal in it. She said it makes it taste more like fish. So, I don't know. We're gonna do like she said. So we're gonna stir this up. Get this all, like I said, if it's too loose, you can always add more flour to it and, and uh, cornmeal. See, very simple. Very simple here. Now there's a few ways you can do this when you put in the skillet. I'm gonna add a little bit more flour to it. Let the rest of that flour. And a little bit more cornmeal to it. I know the feel of it. I just go by the feel, but I the exact recipe is online. It'll work exactly like this one. So don't worry that yours not gonna come out like mine, cause it will. Okay, that's it, that's what you want. Put one more egg in here, one more egg. We're gonna put them both in there. I used to put two eggs per can, but I'm kind of eyeing this. It's the old school's cooking. You just dump it in the bowl. That's how you do it. Just dump it in the bowl there. There we go. Add a little bit more flour to this. See, that's how you do it. You just dump here and dump there until you get it right. And the cornmeal, like I say, like she say, it gives it some like you eating fish. And she breads hers in cornmeal, too. But you can bread it without the cornmeal. Okay, this is what we gonna do. We put in a hand here, mash it down, and put it in the oil. Make kind of patties with it. Very 
very simple. Okay. Like I said, you can make yours thicker if you want to, but I like mine like this. Make sure you don't uh, put too many in the skillet. Because if you do, the oil uh, temperature will decrease. And they'll boil instead of fry. Like I said, you can eat these with ketchup. Like I said, I eat, grew up eating with syrup and butter, french fries. And uh, let's move these over here. Flip these over, man. That's what you want. Look nice, golden brown. That's it. See that? I'm gonna turn this oil down here. That's what you want. That's what you want. I'm gonna turn the oil down a little. Put that nice golden brown on there. Mash them down a little. Make sure they flat. See? See how easy that is? Time at all to make. We should make these all the time growing up. And like I say, we couldn't afford crab meat and all that. So you get knuckles out of the can. And that's how you did it. It's like one or two minutes on each side, and they're ready. here you can they don't take long on these things at all oh yeah take long at all and I'm gonna keep these in the oven warm do a few more here and I get about out of this maybe about 10 10 nice patties like I say, the patty don't have to be perfect. The rest, more rustic they look, the better they are. They don't have to be uniform in shape. Very simple. Look at them, how golden brown, how that meal comes out. Nice, 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 yeah. salmon for this too I found out. You know you have the salmon that's in the can. You can use salmon make salmon patties. That's a thing. Golden brown on each side doesn't take long at all. These cook so quickly. Nice golden brown. I like to splash them, you know, smash them flat there. So they cook evenly, the grease get all the way in them. So, uh, they cook so quickly. So I'm figuring too, as a recipe, I doubled this recipe. Usually just two eggs to a can of this and a little flour and uh, salt and pepper, breadcrumbs, and onions. But I double the recipe. Most of my recipes that I do online here, I double them because one, I mean, one recipe around here is not going to be enough. Once your neighbors find out you're doing old school macros, one recipe is not going to be enough. Okay, a couple more and I should do it here. We'll make 
take one big one here. One big one. That should do it. We're going to put these on the plate here. Get a nice plate for these. them up. Definitely got to try one of them. two over. Nice golden brown there. Flat. See that? See how awesome they are? Nice and I got that meal in them. I'm going to try one of these here. Oh yeah. Mmm. It brings me back to my childhood. I can eat them just like this. Yep. Nice. Good. Nice and moist. Not dry. And of course, the egg does to it. Mm. Oh, yeah. They're very good. Very simple, very easy. Try this recipe out. Give it a thumbs up, comment, please. Like I say, this is awesome with home fried potatoes and syrup. Burger rabbit syrup and butter and some hot old school biscuits. Shoot, that's where it goes right there. So until next time, please subscribe. Please share my channel. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day.